What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like we never left. left. Uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in tonight for movie night, y'all. We're going to be reeling on Crocodile Dundee. This movie is a bit ahead of our time. This was a little bit before we was even here on this earth <laughs> by about like a, a year or so. Uh, the only thing I remember about Crocodile Dundee is he was the guy with the knife. That's that's about all I remember from Crocodile Dundee. And I remember they, I remember they had like a com like commercials with Crocodile Dundee when I was younger, like in like the early '90s. But that's like that's like my earliest memory of, of Crocodile Dundee. Oh, everything! I don't know anything about Crocodile Dundee. I don't even I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even know there were commercials and stuff. Yeah. You know what though? I will say it's, it was early, early on, like the late '80s, early '90s. Okay, because. I remember, you know, I always talk about how my mom had like a ton of tapes. She had a lot of VHS tapes, mm -hmm. and Crocodile Dundee was one that was in there. And I would just always, always pass it up because of the cover. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm not. You're like, who is this? Why? Yeah, I just, Mama, why you got this? Who, who's Crocodile Dundee? No idea. Like, yeah. she had movies that I, I still don't. To this day, like I couldn't tell you anything about him because I'm yeah. like I don't know what I have no idea what who what this might be about. Well, but you, I, do, I do remember like the cover was like white and mm -hmm. it had a, a alligator on the front of it. But I don't know any. Literally, that's all I know. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> well, you're gonna be in for literally a doozy it. today because you're gonna be reintroduced. You're gonna be reintroduced to who Crocodile Dundee is. Okay. Both of us. I, I can remember. I feel like I remember like kids would bring it up or something or talk about it. Was there like a song or something for Crocodile Dundee? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But yeah, like the late 80s, early 90s, like Crocodile Dundee was doing this thing for sure. Okay. Uh -huh. I, I know. I feel like I, I feel like it was a very popular movie. I don't know why because mm. if you were to say to me, have you ever seen Crocodile Dundee? I know that that's a movie. I don't know how I know that. I got you. You just but, know about you, you just heard of the name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know anything about it. Like I would just think something to do with crocodiles obviously, but Yeah. I'm excited to get into this finally. I feel Absolutely. like I'm so late to <laughs> a party watching this movie. To my to my mom, okay. If she was like looking down on me right now, she'd be like, "I've been a, told you to it's watch about this." About damn time! <laughs> right? Like it's I just had that movie for no time. reason. Yeah. Okay. So I'm excited to get into yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. So if y'all are new here, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon to check out all of our unedited. Uncut videos, behind the scenes footage, Patreon polls, and access to all of our TV series as well, all over on Patreon. I'm excited to get into this movie. Are you ready? I am. Like, have you ever, do you ever remember seeing this at all? I remember seeing it being on before a okay. few times, but no, as far as like watching the movie, Gosh. as far as like knowing anything that happened, no, I don't. You know, and I probably, I don't know, I wouldn't say I passed it up because of the cover <laughs> per se. I think like it's probably just best to say like, Maybe because I, you know, that just wasn't the type of movie I would right. watch, like, obviously as a kid. I don't know what kind of movie it is. Like, yeah, what it's that's what I'm saying. In the 80s, this wasn't anything I would have been watching. When did it come out? Do you know, like, what year particularly? Um, Like, early 80s. Had to be. 84, maybe? Yeah. Okay. 1984, 85? Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, we were like babies. Yeah. I wasn't even here yet. <laughs> so let's. Get I, into I would it. always see like the TV previews, like when they would come on TV, or when they would like the new movie would come out. You know how they have like a like a like a movie trailer for it or something yeah. like that. Like that would come on TV, but we just always knew them by name. Crocodile Dundee. Okay, I guess we're about to find out, y'all. Let's get into it. Here we go. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, you got right. to make your mama proud. Yeah. I know. Watch it be a dang, like a super good movie, too, on top of all things. Yeah. Okay. Here we go, y'all.
Sue, I'm not complaining about your work. It's just that uh, you were due back here yesterday. There's one more story I just have to do. This guy in the Northern Territory was attacked by a crocodile, bit his leg right off, left him there to die a hundred miles from nowhere. A week later, he crawls out of the bush, gets patched up, and disappears. I tracked him down. He runs a safari business out of somewhere called Walkabout Creek. Michael J. Crocodile Dundee. Okay. I really miss you, darling. I miss you too, honey. Take care now. Don't worry, I'm a New Yorker. Huh, she said, no, don't worry. I'm from the Big Apple. Michael J. Crocodile Dundee. Michael. <laughs> so he got his leg bit off by a crocodile. What's the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? You don't know. A crocodile. <laughs> I think the crocodile is bigger than the alligator. You think so? Yeah. One is bigger than the other. Yeah. I think you're right. But I think it's the, yeah. I think the alligator is bigger than the crocodile. Oh, the crocodile is bigger than the alligator. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you just said it the other way. Yeah. What I know is you'll never have to worry about me trying to see one of them up close. Again? Yeah. <laughs> the crocodile hunter. The uh, crocodile period. Hi, Walter Riley. I'm Mr. Dundee's business partner. Nice to meet you, Mr. Riley. Please call me Walter. We're pretty informal in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> He's at the bush. She left where she came from to go there. Mr. Dundee isn't here himself to meet you, but uh, he is here in town. Somewhere. <clears throat> Walkabout Creek Hotel. Welcome to Walkabout Creek. Hmm. Not very impressive. That look like a... <laughs> what it look like? The sister property of Bates Motel. <laughs> so tell me, what's the uh, sideshow all about? Oh, that's just the boys having fun and games. You see, Donk's never spilled a drop. Mm -hmm. oh. And you're Mr. Dundee, does he? No, no, no. He's very reserved. He's a legend up here. I mean, there he was out there doing a quiet spot of fishing when all of a sudden, bang, this giant crocodile bit half his leg off, dragged him down under. I mean, any normal man would have just turned up his toes and died. Hundreds of miles on his hands and knees. He crawled right into Catherine. <laughs> that story's getting better every time you tell it, Wally. Huh? <laughs> it definitely sounds made up. <laughs> he crawled out your mouth. Am I the only one that believed the, that believed the story? <laughs> Wait a minute. No. Oh my God. Damn. Two beers, all right? One for me. One for me, mate. One for your major man, bugger. Oh, I know. Look, look at her. <laughs> I'm sorry if that frightened you, miss. Her? <laughs> look, she's breathing hard. Michael J. Crocodile Dundee. Never, never. Safaris. You never go out with us. If you do, you'll never come back. Right, Walt? <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> How, look at him toting around his alligator. Uh, here you are. Why aren't Cyril for me while I dance with this charming young lady? The legend has it a crocodile took half your leg off. Slight exaggeration. Um, more like a love bite, really. Enough about me leg. Let me tell you about the rest of me. About me leg. And see, I actually start her, I would say her believing the story. There's a mighty hunter named Mick Dundee. You can dance like Fred Astaire. What you say the name of this clown was? Mick Dundee. Just a bloody poacher, eh? I want you to take me out where you were attacked. Show me how you survived. Now come on, Dundee. Every man in the joint knows you're nothing but a bloody crop poacher. <laughs> you had to open your big mouth. See, this is how you learn that you said the wrong thing. Yeah, you learn the hard way. <laughs> Get him on out of here. Tonight's me lucky night. You want to be the go? Oh, here's a go, fellas. Good on you, Mick. It don't look like it hurt either. <laughs> His leg. Yeah. He's not normally like this. So it's just uh, the drink. <laughs> you mean there's a serious side to him? I can 
can hardly wait. <laughs> <laughs> he look worried. He like, oh. <laughs> he doesn't usually act like this. So why did he tell her that her that his leg was gone? How did she come up with that story? Yeah, how, how, who who told that story? That's what I'm saying. I was under the impression he didn't have a leg. Why crocodile? World's idea. He reckons it makes me more colorful for the tourist business. Oh. How old are you? Don't know. You don't know? Time doesn't mean much up here, miss. Yeah, I was raised by the local tribe. I asked one of the tribal elders one day when I was born, and he said, in the summertime. <laughs> in the summertime? I'm going to need y'all to have a date before <laughs> when I came into this world. And is there a Mrs. Crocodile Dundee? Oh, I was sort of married once. Nice girl, good cook, big. <laughs> anyway, I went off on walkabout, and when I came back, she'd gone. A walkabout? That's an Aboriginal habit. It means to wander around and uh, discover new places. How long were you gone? A couple of months. Try 18. And she didn't wait. Strange girl. Yeah. Oh, look at his nose. That's a big ass ox. I don't think you should get out I though. Think, see, you I wouldn't learn from the crocodile. I, yeah, I wouldn't. I, th this is not the place to walk about right here. Hmm. Hmm. What the Mind hell? Mind over matter. Old Bushman's trick. <laughs> did he put a curse on him? What me? Did he hex the ox? It's like he hypnotized him or something. <laughs> <laughs> you are getting very. <laughs> mm -mm, they out here on this little old bitty boat. <laughs> 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 You no. know, I'm not doing that. Huh. Oh, I think it's huge. Take a bite of that boat and, and that's the end of the boat. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's the end of everybody. Oh, short. I will leave you in mixed capable hands and I'll meet you at the Echo Billabong on Wednesday. When I tell you, I would be like, can you just send me pictures of where you got bit? <laughs> Out of location. I'm not going out there. Yeah, she came all the way out into the bush. See, this is why you can never be a reporter. So you're not you're not willing to get up close and personal with the story. Oh wow. I can see where he sunk his teeth. In. Uh, how big was it? Uh 16, 18 foot maybe. Wow. 16 feet? Do they really bite boats? They bite boats and people. How did you get away? Crocs don't like fresh meat. He wasn't trying to eat me on the spot. He just wanted to grab a hold of me and take me down for a death roll. A death roll? Yeah, see, a croc will grab you, take you down to the bottom of the water, and roll you over and over and over until you stop kicking. Then he take you away to his meat safe somewhere. Rock ledge, down under the water, jam you under it, tenderize you a bit, good eat. Hmm, sounds tasty. He wasn't happy with the grip he had on me, so he let go to get a better one, and I talked him out of it. Talk. Hmm. <laughs> It'll be getting dark soon. Then I'll take you to where I camp the first night. You think you're telling the truth? I don't know. I, you see that boat that he on? I don't know. There's some truth to it, because obviously the boat got bit. Yeah, but he said he was just out there fishing. Though. Right. Where would someone like you stand on, say, the nuclear debate? None of my business. None of your business? It's everybody's business. Gotta have an opinion, gotta have a voice. Who's going to hear it out here? Okay. Something closer to home. The Aborigines. What do you think about their claims to get the land back? Uh, <laughs> Aborigines, oh. well, like all God's creatures, they just want the right to roam across the earth and be left in peace. <clears throat> what did he just do? He just killed the snake. Oh, it's a King Brown. Poisonous. Oh, you're deadly. Not bad eating, but always give me gas. <laughs> I think it was right behind her. Stick close to me, you'll be all right. 
There's no way I'm gonna sleep out there with, with snakes crawling around like that. Not a chance. He grabbed right off of the log. Can we get a tent? She just gonna sleep right there on the ground. <laughs> you ain't never went out. You ain't never camped out there in the wilderness like that. Not like that. You don't need no tent. Shh. What? So they had something. Sleeping in the bush, in the tree. Nick? Somebody firing shots. Oh. Why that shooting at the look? You better do something. Keep your head down. Oh, they been reckless. Not the kangaroo, though. Well, not only that, but. They just shooting everywhere and anywhere, like. Right, got a gun. Oh. <laughs> it's looking like it's the attack of the angry kangaroo. Good one, Skippy. <laughs> so you need you need yeah. somebody like that to protect the bush. Shaving. Man, let me shave you like that. That's how men, that's how real men shave out there in the wilderness. If you ain't never shaved like that before, I don't know what to tell you. I don't I don't shave. <laughs> I'm talking about I'm talking about men. <laughs> oh, look at him. <laughs> I know I know she not get She better get in the water <laughs> Oh hell no Oh hell no Damn, that's what you call an alligator. That mug's huge. A crocodile. A crocodile. Hey, hey. I gotcha. I gotcha. Is she about to get in the water? She literally was. I, I hope you hungry. Did you think a crocodile was gonna jump out? No. <laughs> oh wow. I'm gonna have a hell of a job skinning the bastard. Damn. That mug is huge. That's about 13, 14 foot crocodile. Definitely no place for a city girl. Oh, I don't know. From what Walls told me, living in a city can be just as dangerous. Haven't you ever lived in a city? Never been to a city. <clears throat> Kidding. Ah, here, try this. Do you want me to have a look at that? That's just a scratch. Yeah, well, a scratch can turn septic out here. Give us a look. It can't turn septic. We, we got to look at it. I bet you you do. We gotta, we gotta look at it. Christ, it's like living with Davy Crockett. <laughs> she said Davy Crockett. Nick? Nick. <clears throat> what is that? What was that? Ray! Ah, <laughs> oh, Nick, you frightened shit out of me. <laughs> I ain't expecting her to start speaking English. Oh, it's a mate of mine, Neville Bell. Sue Chow. Good day, Sue. Oh, no, you can't take my photograph. I'm sorry. You believe it'll take your spirit away? No, you got a lens cap on. <laughs> <laughs> Cracky. Mick, I want to get going. Nice to meet you, Sue. Bye, Nev. How does he find his way in the dark? He thinks his way. A lot of people believe that they're telepathic. Oh! Oh, I hate the bush. Uh, some people. <laughs> he just hate the bush. This is Echo Lake. I reckon this place saved me life. That's mineral water. Means no crocs. More tucker here than you could poke a stick at. Tucker? 
food. You hungry? Starving. I'll get lunch. Okay, we'll go back and get some of that gator. Lunch? Okay, well... well, well uh, uh, we're not going to eat no Komodo dragon. I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> Oh, because crocodile, aren't they saltwater animals? I think some are, but they're all, some are, are just freshwater. Like swamps are freshwater. Well, I guess they wouldn't be in mineral water. Yeah, he's in mineral water. I don't know. If I can't see my feet. <laughs> if, you, if you can't see your feet, you're not getting in it. <laughs> you know I'm not getting in. Vic, when I go back, why don't you come with me? What for? Well... Make a great rap to the story. You in New York City? Oh. For a minute there, I thought you were making a pass at me. Well, I might have been. Mm-mm. Just that I might have been. Mm-hmm. Would mm. you mind? Look, I can tell you what his mind thinking right now. I don't mind. He he fixed the wound on the back, you know, the septic. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. he was trying to stop from happening. See? Mm-hmm. So she came down there to get the full story. Look. No. He like what happened? <laughs> no, we ain't. No. I want Mick to come back to New York with me. Mick, in a big city, no chance. Paper would pay. Well, a man should broaden his horizons. Oh snap! She brought him back. You want to play? Everything okay? Oh, yeah. yeah. No worries. He look uncomfortable. I didn't think he was going to do it. He's going to be completely out of his element now. From somebody who shaves with a knife and eats Komodo dragons. <laughs> Iguanas and stuff. <laughs> you look absolutely stunning. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. minute. Wait a damn minute. Hold on. Where is the man from the backwoods? Oh, God. We got separated at customs. Oh, there he is. So, that's Jungle Jim. Oh, no, he did not call him Jungle Jim. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, what the hell is that? New York City, Mr. Dundee, home to seven million people. Imagine seven million people all wanting to live together. New York must be the friendliest place on earth. Oh, that's <laughs> Carl Winslow. Oh, I didn't even recognize him. <laughs> Thanks for the lift, mate. No problem. A tribe of you, Gus? A tribe? And I ain't from no tribe. You're a black fella, aren't you? Last time I looked. Well, no one in our tribe's got a flash car like this. You must be doing all right, eh? <laughs> Yo. Sir. It looked like he walking around with a sea bag. <laughs> oh, like, like in the Navy or something? Yeah. Oh, it's a bit rough, but I'll manage. How many of us stay any? Just you. I've got my own <coughs> apartment downtown. Oh, sorry. Mick Dundee. I didn't catch the name. Uh, Angela. Pleased to meet you, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be for a tip, right? Right. <laughs> so, I'm writing down Wally's number and my office number. Hey, Sue. Come here. Look at this. Some nitwits put two dunnies in here. <laughs> one dunny, one bidet. Bidet. It's for, um... You figure it out. <laughs> yeah, eventually you'll figure that out. I never used one of those before. It, it took a minute, but you'll eventually figure that one out. I feel like that's like rich folk problems for real. Okay, look. <laughs> you use the bathroom at the one on the left, and then I the one on the right. I don't use that thing. <laughs> you gonna figure it out, one way or the other. <laughs> See. See, you gotta watch from down under. For washing your backside, right? <laughs> Good day. <laughs> Good day. 
talk about looking like you don't go here. <laughs> at all, right? At all. Even to the hat. Right. You could tell you know how you look at somebody and you can tell they don't <laughs> they not from here. And of all places, New York. Right. I'm surprised nobody hit him with the what's up, Shorty? <laughs> what up, kid? Oh, what's coming? I wouldn't do that if I was you. Oh, this is not the cow thing. It's not. You you can't that don't work here. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Look. Take it easy, Mick. Thanks, Mike. Not bad. No way. This is too funny. Sorry, we're late. Mm. Now, this will be quite a novelty for you, Mick. Eating something without having to kill it first. <laughs> Shall we? Uh-uh. She don't like that. Oh, they're going to be fancy, fancy, fancy eating. I got to see how he adapts to this. He still hadn't changed clothes. <laughs> Roberto. <laughs> I did the same thing. Perhaps I should order for all of us. Huh? <laughs> I don't imagine that they have any kangaroo steak or possum grits. <laughs> oh, don't worry about Mick. Perhaps he'd like to order for all of us. Oh. I'll have a lash. A lash. Italian, eh? Yes. I don't know what you call it, but I'd like to look at that dish up there, the big fat shell is eating. <laughs> Look. Can't handle his drink for so. <laughs> Richard? Richard, he's gonna be out for a little second. <laughs> he was being a pain. That's beside the point. You're not serious about this lemon, are you? Butt out, Dundee. Listen, we've got a busy day tomorrow, so get some sleep. I'll pick you up early. Good night. Night. I think you better take me to the boozer. Who's it? Don't know that one. Pop, you know, somewhere to get a drink. Want to join me? I just finished my shift. Why not? Off duty, baby. <laughs> hey, Buzzy, come on over and meet this guy from Australia. Hey, my man, what's happening? Uh, where? <laughs> what's going down, bro? Going down. Oh, yeah, just blowing the froth off a couple. All right. Hang loose, my man. Flat out like a lizard drinker. You say what? What? <laughs> he said, say what? He said, what? What are you drinking, Gwendolyn? Thanks, Mick. I must be getting on home. Where's home, sweetie? Just around the corner. Hold on. I'm all by my lonesome. Not now. She came up in here looking like a black widow. Thank her for a bit of uh, mild company. Do I ever? Thank you. Don't go away, love. That girl, she's a guy. It's <laughs> wet. <laughs> I know, it's hard to believe. <laughs> she is tall. Do I dress up like a Sheila? Look at that. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? Because <laughs> he just did that. Like yeah. right in the middle of everybody. He had to check. Uh, why not just ask if you just wanted to know? <laughs> For a good time, honey? Always looking for a good time. Either are you uh, attached or married or anything like that? No, we're both single ladies. <laughs> <laughs> this is Carla. I'm Simone. Where are you from, honey? I'm uh, from Walkabout Creek in the Northern Territory. Hey, you're the guy I've been reading about in the paper. The crocodile man. It's like a regular Tarzan. Is this your first trip to New York? First trip anywhere. We might just have to give you one for free. <laughs> yeah. One what? <laughs> <laughs> they like, oh, you really don't know, huh? Yeah, nah. girls, girls. Working tonight and we socializing. Hey, pal, I was just talking to the ladies and making a bit of progress. You gonna talk all night, my man? Or you gonna screw one of them? <laughs> <laughs> Nice chatting here, ladies. 
<laughs> Damn. See, he do wash his clothes. I just, I didn't say he didn't wash them. I said he had on the same clothes. He hadn't oh, changed okay. them. Rosita, I just leave the spare towels on the bed, will you? Macho gracias, love. Gracias. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Gracias. Gra- <laughs> he said gracias. I see, an- I see ankles and shins and. Um. Hey, listen, uh, Rosita. Uh, oh, it's only being friendly. Your towel, Senor Meek. <sighs> For a minute there, um, room service took on a whole new meaning. <laughs> room service. That's a whole different level of room service. Oh, man. Getting some service in the room. I love, like, how he's so, like, he just doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. But but you, you got to admit it. He's doing a lot better in New York than you thought that he would have. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Campbell Soup, baby. You got a light, buddy? Yeah, sure, kid. And your wallet. <laughs> That's not a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> uh. Just kids having fun. <laughs> You're all right. I'm always all right when I'm with you, Dundee. Damn, she can't. She laid a big fat one on him. Oh, oh. Wow. Dang. Feel like they out in the Hampton somewhere. Oh, hell, the dogs are out. <laughs> Uh-oh. That don't look like no dogs. That's some little baby bears. <laughs> you said baby bears. I ain't never seen nobody. They look like some little grizzly bears running up. Let me make sure I don't have to try that. Look, look. Hello. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I go my, right. I'm getting back in the car. <laughs> Got some little cujos running after you now, man. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, welcome home, Sue. Guess everyone in this room knows how this beautiful lady and I feel about each other. I've not had a great deal of success influencing her as her editor. Perhaps I'll have more success as her husband. Richard. Ain't this about a... He completely blindsided her with that. He ain't even get on one knee. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much. I could have done it without your help. That's me hard. Mm. I see I, I see that look in his eyes. I recognize that look mm-hmm. in his eyes right there. But I don't think she really wanna do that either. The way she just sucked face with him <laughs> the other night. Yeah. Her heart is getting torn. Her heart is a little torn. The hotel, Mick? Yeah, Gus. Oh, I have a liquor store. For medicinal purposes. He said, here, just take mine. Times Square. Hey, you take care now. Okay, but like for real, Loki? Crocodile, like from the country, but you know, he got a little swagger to him with his little jacket on and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, what's the matter, Aussie boy? You gonna make like a kangaroo and hop away? <laughs> oh, they about to beat him up. I think they about to get him. Oh. Time for the tap there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
That's a good hit. That's a good hit, though. You sure you're not Pinton Jar tribe? No, man. Harlem Warlords. <laughs> Harlem Warlords. <laughs> down this morning to say he was checking out today. We're gonna miss him around here. Thanks. Why should I crocodile done these line like that? I don't know, but them glasses though are real fire. <laughs> like <laughs> she got the whole ensemble. Are you leaving us, Mickey? Going back home? Uh no, I thought I got walk about. You know, that must be something really important to him, too, because you notice he keeps asking, are y'all single? Are y'all married? Mm -hmm. And then he, the guy just proposed to, to her. To her. Miss, if you're looking for Crocodile Mick, he's gone walkabout. I don't suppose you know where. She got heels on and she running. Oh, yeah. It's serious. It's, it's serious with the heels on. When you running with the heels on, it's a serious thing. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Damn the heels now. Okay, it's even more serious. <laughs> she done took the, the heels off. Okay. <laughs> and she done went barefoot. Go get your man, girl. <clears throat> Where you going? You want to play? Why don't you play with me? <laughs> yeah, play with these. <laughs> fashion oh if anybody gonna make a way it would be him what is he doing no <laughs> come on with the bag on and everything <laughs> yeah man. he stepped right on his head Hulk it could Hogan. be. Maybe. Because we got a Brett Rogan, a Hulk Hogan, Paul Hogan. Okay, we talking about two? Okay. I don't know. I okay. don't know. Then he probably related to Joe Rogan too, huh? Yeah, he might be. Joe Rogan too? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you tripping. You tripping. That's what's so fun to tripping. watch though. <laughs> you said Rogan and Hogan. I'm like, okay, well then, shoot. Well, then they must be related too. Very possible. Okay. No, nah, we ain't. They, they not. They not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah, I enjoyed it too. I this enjoyed was really this a lot. Fun. What a cute movie, though. I love the love story in this. Like the fact that he went to New York City. I didn't think that he, she was gonna be able to talk him into going to New York City. Yeah, For so. some reason, I thought that she was gonna be like, "I'm not going back to the city," and she was gonna have to adapt to like. And she would stay there. Yeah, but it kind of like it was like she kind of lived his life for a little minute, and then. He had to come and live her life as and I, well. I, yeah, and I think she did a good job at kind of adapting yes, with, with her being a New York City girl. She did. With her going down to da going down down under, and for her to kind of like live his life for a little while and kind of adapt to it mm -hmm. to a degree. She, I don't know, if she ate the iguana. You know, I don't know if she ate the the, the, the well done iguana. You wouldn't eat it. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna die. Huh? <laughs> You'll die for you eat it. There, okay? <laughs> Tell me I eat the, eat the, like, 
Y'all, okay? Y'all You'd be a perfect know. candidate for Survivor. No. You could make it on that show. Everybody okay. going to die okay. if you leave it up to me. Okay. <laughs> And and, and and eating all that type of stuff. I'm not catching like the, when the when the when the crocodile popped out the water. <laughs> that was it for me. Okay, that that was the last day. Okay, we gonna go back to where we came from and wait until Wednesday. <laughs> we we don't have that long. We ain't got that long. I also also with the movie too. I also like with Crocodile Dundee the fact that when he got to New York, like you could kind of see how. It was almost like he was like a fish out of water just a little bit, but he started to adapt really, really quick too. Yeah, yeah, he did. And he talked, and you talked about his style too. By the end of the movie, I was like, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get that vest. I'm trying to tell that you that crocodile vest is pretty fly. With the he, hat, he had on a red shirt. I'd, I'd had it on with a black shirt, but but still, same thing. The That's vest, what I'm saying. Was, like as the movie went on, I'm like, you know, when he when he first got there, yeah, he did stand out because he definitely looked like he was straight up out the country. Like, that's what I was, like, yeah. talk about looking like you don't go here. <laughs> like, looking like you're not a part of, like, the culture that's taking place right in front of you yeah. in terms of, like, the reality of where he where he is and versus where he was from. But as the movie went on, it was like, no, really, it was like, no, he still looked like he was from where he was from, but he fit in perfectly. Like, the way he <laughs> adapted, because obviously he was saying hello to everybody. I'm like, he walking past everybody and nobody is speaking. <laughs> Nobody's saying anything at Because he's so cordial. You're right. You know, with him being so... Good day. Good with day. him being so country and, yeah. and, and having so much, what, <laughs> what you would call, I guess, that down under hospitality. Right. And, and when you get to New York, one person, everybody know. Everybody know when you get to New York, it's just a little different. It's definitely a lot different in, yeah. New, in New York, especially if you dad like even to say that, like going from like Texas to New York, I feel like it's definitely it's a culture shock. It's completely different. It is completely different. So I'm just like, yeah, I probably would look like I don't go there either. I'm just saying because down here you'll get a little bit more hospitality. Like, hey, how's it? How's it going? Yeah, sir? how you doing, man? Yeah, Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> and then New York is just a little different. It's just yeah. a little rougher down there. It's just a little rougher. Yeah. But but like to say that, though, I like mm -hmm. the fact that they made this a love story. That was the last thing I expected. I thought I thought we were about to see, like, some type of, you know, I don't know what you would call, it, like, people who are into, like, doing the whole animal thing and caring for the animals. And, like, this was about to be a whole, like, advocation for animals. Like, don't be out there poaching on animals like these Absolutely. little innocent animals type of things which that's what i thought the movie was going to be based around like thought, the way that it started <laughs> but i didn't yeah because she that. even asked him too about that too yeah oh, oh you would, he said he was out there fishing but it looked like he was out there doing more than just fishing he might have been hunting right and then to see uh the guys out there just taking out the kangaroos left what and they right were doing. too i yeah. kind of i kind of thought that too but then when he had to kill the crocodile i was like wait Wait a minute, because he just straight up, just straight killed. <laughs> Wait a minute, okay? So, so yeah, but but I didn't think that it was going to be a love story. That's that's the you. last thing I thought it was going to be. So, when she was even saying, would you come back to New York with me? I was like, there's no way he's going to get on a boat. Like, this is this is what he knows. This is what he does. This yeah. is his life, you know? Like, everything that he's been doing this entire time. So, yeah. for it to turn out the way that it did, it actually, to me, I, I completely... <laughs> change the entire like as far as far as what as far as what direction. you're kind of expecting to yeah agree. like the highlight of the movie was the part that i was telling you about as far as like the only parts of like crocodile dundee that i remember like growing up would be like that that scene when he was like uh he has a knife and he, and he was like this is a knife <laughs> like you don't uh, remember that like like that no. was like that was like the highlight that they will always show whether it was like a commercial, whatever it was, but that it was always something about like that him showing his showing the big knife. Yeah, no, I. That was the scene right there, when he when he was uh dealing with the little gang members. You you know you drive me nuts with that sometimes. You say stuff where you like you don't remember, and I'm like, no, I don't remember. You, you don't forget. remember that back <laughs> back in the days. <laughs> Man, we are we're two different ages. I know. <laughs> I remember, like, I said, my sister used to do stuff like that to yeah. me, and I would be like, I have no, what do you, no, I don't remember. That's why when we brought up Crocodile Dundee, I was like, the only thing I can think about Crocodile Dundee, he was the guy with the knife. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> I okay. Remember. I stand corrected. I've too. never seen any part, I don't remember any, any parts of this, like, at all. Like, at all. <laughs> so I when I saw that, I was like, oh, there he goes, there that's, That's the part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. I. This is uh, everything that I saw today was all 
first time. Okay. For okay. me. Okay. Literally first time. So great movie though. This was really cute. Yeah. I gotta watch this. And again. You, you got a lot of you got a lot of laughs and smiles out of this movie too. Yeah. Which is good. I did. I did. But y'all have to chime in. Let us know what y'all think about this yeah. in the comment section. And this too. was nineteen eighty five. Eighty five? Yes. Okay. So that would explain why y'all Absolutely. I was not probably even one yet. So <laughs> If y'all enjoyed this, give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. Tell us how I said I love you. I love you. I love all <laughs> y'all. I'm not going to marry Richard, okay? I love you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Had and to, if ain't nobody else told you. We have to counsel you, Richard. <laughs> I love you. We're going to see y'all. In the next video, yo. What? How do y'all sing it? To the left, to the left. Yeah. Richard had to go to the left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to Crocodile Dundee. We love you guys. Yeah. It's only